one project is called the Drake Equation. And it's not after the rapper Drake. Well, it's more after Frank Drake, the mathematician. And the problem is because I always hear stuff about extraterrestrial life and aliens and things of that sort. And I came up with this topic because at school this kid was telling me about it right before I picked my project. So I thought it would be a good way to go. So my approach, I was going to look at the Drake Equation, look at the math part, and even try to do it by myself. And I tried, and it was pretty hard. So I used the Carl Sagan, Carl Sagan on the Drake Equation to assist me with it. To make this project better, I think I would have done the entire math part by myself, totally by myself. Um, or even did better with my boarding. And the results, even though it was confusing, I was able to complete the Drake Equation by myself by using the Carl Sagan explanation of the Drake Equation. Also, I figure that there could be civilizations that are able of astronomical communication. Today we're conducting the novice division of the One Academic Fair, which consists of grades 5 through 8. And the One Academic Fair consists of the categories Technology, Science and Engineering, and Social Studies. Hi, my name is Cameron, and I go to Deerwood Academy. And my project is about do chickens need their mother hens to hatch? And there's actually two ways for them to hatch. They could be hatched by an artificial incubator, which is a box that can heat up to 104 degrees, and there is the mother hen, which can heat up to the exact heat. at it more carefully? Yeah. You sure? Mm -hmm. Okay, so do you plan on using this when you go to middle school next year? Yes. And what will you do differently, you said? We will add hot water and brown, brown sugar. Why brown sugar? Because you didn't say that the first time. Why brown sugar? Brown sugar because since the census eats up sugar, like, like I guess it's bleach sugar, mm -hmm. it will eat real sugar, actual real sugar, and it will make it rise quickly. So again, anything else you want to share with me before I look at it? They usually research something in the science and engineering division based on their interest in science or engineering. And that also applies to technology and social studies. Uh, I am Mateo Rodriguez from Collin Middle School. I have a robotic project and this is my robot. I named it Roboristic Swag. Uh, basically, it's just a model of what I want in the future. Future, what the future uh, worker robots would do. So it's geared up with very good defense for the wheels. Uh, the tracks give it good friction to, to walk up, go up hills and stuff. Uh, these claws, not only do they lift up things, but they also become more wheels for harder traction. But, so it could go on any terrain. Also, we already have cars that lift up things, but they have people in them. So uh, if something goes wrong, a person dies. But this, if something goes wrong, it's just a robot going down, but no humans are gone. So this would really save lives and a lot of money. So what do you do? You put the, I mean, my thing is that you put the, um, but you test the water, the pH level of the water, then put the tooth in it and then test the pH level again? No, no, at first 
once we had when we put all the drinks in the soda, I took the pH and put it in each drink, in each drink. And then after that, I took it out, left it on the table for 30 seconds, then looked at it, and then that's when I put the tea in the soda. All right, so you compared both pH levels, right? Yes. Okay. And did it, did it go up? Yes. So what's your conclusion? So if you were doing this experiment and you were recommending things for people to drink, then what? What would you say? I recommend that you and you need to drink more water because it will not corrupt the teeth the most, as you see, and the same. And that great soda is actually not as great as Gator. Today we have a good representation from all of the SRTs. That will be SRTs one through four. Um, the students that are taking part in the one academic fair today have went through three, two previous rounds of rigorous judging. That would include a school level judging fair as well as an SRT level fair before being able to participate in this fair. The students that will be identified as goal key winners in the science and engineering fair today will represent Atlanta Public Schools at the state science and engineering fair in March. Which not that good because the the protein actually have to level out with the lipids so you can have a healthy balance. And then how it, and then the starch, the starch and sugar level is good for it to have none of those because that's the really the main reason how you get more calories. And so our final conclusion was that the russet russet slash Idaho potatoes proven to be the healthiest potato because they have an even amount of proteins and lipids. And the unhealthy potato was proven to be the red potato because the proteins and lipids don't really match y'all. Okay. Uh, a few questions for you. Yes. You did an excellent job explaining your, your project. Thank you. When you were doing conducting the different tests, and you said you cut the potato into three different parts, for the lipid test, the starch test, the protein test, did you use the same potato and just cut off different pieces, or did you use different potatoes? No, we used we, um, four, four um, different we used, four the, we used the same potato, but we just cut into slices for like each potato. But yes, we did use different potatoes. Okay. So if for your like for your red potato, you cut off a piece and you conducted your lipid test, then you cut off some more. Um, my project is called the Strawberry Study, and I was trying to figure out what condition can make strawberries ripe the fastest. And I had three conditions, which was frozen strawberries, just left out strawberries, and some put in a bowl of water. And uh, what school do you go to? What grade are you in? I'm in sixth grade, and I go to Drew Charter School. I'm, I'm Molly Ross. I'm Olivia Potber. Um, and I'm Lucy Myatt. We're from Morningside Elementary School. And this is our project, Rodent Face Off, Hamster versus Mouse. We did it on the intelligences between mice and hamsters to see which one was faster. And we put them through this maze. This maze that we made. Um, um, so our hypothesis, we thought the mice would be faster because they're closely related to the rat family and they um, are actually smaller and kind of skinnier. Um, our procedure was um, we would make a maze out of cardboard because cardboard um, is safe for the animals and we would place yogis at the end of the maze which is right there and um, we would test them and we would see how long it took them and we would do it every other day. And our conclusion, we found out that mice were the fastest when we averaged out the times. And hamsters, they were pretty slow most of the time.